and was Attorney General designate had the party won the White House. After her defection from the Communist Party, she revealed that one of her jobs as a Communist was to encourage young radicals into the priesthood. And she said that before she left the party in the United States that she encouraged more than a thousand young radicals to infiltrate the seminaries and religious orders of the Catholic Church. And she said back then they had risen to the highest places in the church. And so this is why you don't have any call to conversion, you have no exposure to the Masons. And what I'm saying should be said by almost every priest in the United States and throughout the world. It's not said because these people are either direct infiltrators or they just don't care anymore. It's a complete apathy as, as far as... Uh, uh, the true faith. This is an interesting uh, picture we have here. This is a grade 6 catechism. It was given to grade, uh, sixth graders across the country. And uh, you can see right here the little dots, the dark dots on this. Uh, this is the opening page, as you can see. This is, Christ, this is Christ with us. And you have these dark dots all over the page. And of course the communists are trying to achieve victory over the church. And, and uh, you can see the dark dots. What's interesting is you line those dark dots up, and what do you get? Looks like a hammer and a sickle. Communist hammer and sickle. So what they were saying was that they've now achieved victory over the church, and uh, at least they think that. And uh, we know if there's there just even a small group with one true priest that upholds the one true faith. That's what St. Athanasius said. Even if the true remnant was reduced to a handful of true believers, and say one true priest that believed in the true Catholic faith, they remain the true church of Jesus Christ on earth. So, And he said back then, St. Athanasius, during the Arian crisis, that we have the faith, they have the buildings.